What's this gear thing over here? Growl. That was Charizard. Growl. I'd surely never make it to the stadium without you to show me the way, partner. Even with a huge thing like this bang in the middle of the city, I still get lost. Send them, Chad, alright? Timer is up. Alright, I mean, I'm in dialogue right now, so there's no point in starting a challenge. So I might as well just, like, wait until this dialogue's over and then start a challenge. And yes, I re reckon you might even be ready to use this. Here, try giving your old partner to hold. A piece of charcoal. Oh, you mean the partner that's dead? Cool. Can give it to my Vulpix, though. If you're gonna take that lift to the city's upper level, if you're headed to the stadium next. Yo, it's me, the guy who's behind with directions. Alright, now let's finish that conversation. Let's choose. Second encounter! Huh! That's one of the nice ones. Okay. So, second encounter, I'm pretty sure just gives me another encounter. Yeah, just get. Oh, no, no, no. Second encounter means I have to just get the second encounter. So, instead of the first encounter, it's the second encounter. Okay. I was going to say, does that mean I get two encounters? But no, it's just I get. I, I just have to take the first one, not the second one. I mean, the other way around. I have to get the second one, not the first. You get me. Tell us that. I was going to say that, yeah, at, at first I was like, oh, that's really nice. But then I realized, no, it's just the second one. I mean, it's not really that nice because I could get a good encounter for the first one and a shit one for the second one. It's just I have to get the second one. You made it too, right? Well, the Silk Stadium, this is where the opening ceremony will be held. Everyone will be watching the opening ceremony for the gym challenge. My mum, your mum, the whole world. <laughs> that's basically the whole world, just our mums. It's getting me a bit nervous, really. Nah, this isn't nervous. This is, I'm only trembling because I'm so excited. Come on, Sailor and Chan. It's time to world earn our names. Not yours, because you're irrelevant, lol. Alright, let's go in. We're here to torture you. You're right. That's not wrong. I don't know. I don't see the reason to do that, though, because then I'm just wasting balls. Yeah, that's the thing. My first encounter could be a Charmander, and my second one could be, like, a Bidoof, and then I'd have to catch a Bidoof. Would you look at that? This place is packed with gym challengers. Every one of these folks is another rival. Wow. That's fucked. I'll, I'll, I'll ask everyone else what they want to do, but usually it's just you get the second encounter. Let's get signed up. It's a challenge. I know that, but still, there's some nice challenges. Like, I mean... Some of them are just like, they're not too challenging. Some are just very hard. Some are just like, oh, that's nice. You get to do this. Look at that edgy devil man cry baby looking ass. Seriously? What a piece of work. What did he even do? He just walked past us. If you're here to register for the gym challenge, I'll need to see your endorsement, please. Why do you like all these guys look like gym lads that drink protein shakes? Fancy that, this is the first time we've had a challenger endorsed by the champion. Well, now you're that too, because I am as well. What? Two of you at once? I would not came over Leon this year. Two of you must be something special. I'm hot. <laughs> I don't know why he said all of that. I'm hot. I'm Leon's little brother, in fact, and the next champion. Got me all signed up, would you? Oh, well, yes, if I'm trying to, if you'll just give me a moment. There, you've been successfully registered as gym challengers. You can now choose the preferred number for your uniform, if you'd be so kind. It'll be displayed on the back of the uniforms. You must rate it for a, uh, an official match. Hey. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do this. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was tempted, but no. Um, just 12, to be honest. Number 12, let's go. <laughs> number 12, is it? And here... Please wear this challenge band at all times. Identify yourself as a gym challenger. The only opening ceremony for the gym challenge is to be held here tomorrow. All the trainers taking part have been booked a room in a nearby Badoo drop-in. That's the league chairman for you. Even booked us all hotel rooms. I'm about to check out the fancy digs. Alright, I guess I should probably go find that too. Yeah, I'm really not finding the music in this game. It's very... It's very tech. 
this light part just doesn't have any music that much. Oh, now it does. It's more techno-y, I think, in areas, and I'm not really a fan of techno. You must be Challenger Salem, Chan. The you drop in is this way if you'd, allow, if you'd like to follow me. Like, this town's alright with the music, because it doesn't sound techno-y. Ooh, a saxophone here. Yeah, Motostoke City's alright. It just takes a while to kick in the music. But, like, in there, I'm not too... Like, the gym place, I wasn't too big of a fan of the music. Chandra Salem Chan, we've arrived at the Buddy Drop Inn. Try to get some rest to build your strength for what's to come. What lang- Like, what language is that? Like, that says Badu Drop Inn. It just it, it looks like it says Boem R. Like, why isn't it an, an unknown letters? I'm so confused. Why is- I thought there'd be unknown letters there. Hiya. Ah, yeah. Looks like you both got yourselves registered. Oh, hey, Sonia. What are you doing in our hotel? I'm researching the mysterious Pokemon that are said to be in the slumbering world. I reckon if I look into some of Gilar's legends, I might figure something out. Care to join me? You're here already anyway. Are we joining Sonia at the hotel? Yo, bet. I'm down. What's this, then? It's the statue of a hero who once saved the Galar region. I could run through the legend real quick if you fancy. Long ago, a great black storm covered the Galar region. People called it the darkest day. The land was assaulted by gigantic Pokemon. I bet they were defeated by a single young hero bearing a sword and shield. The statue here is meant to depict that young hero of legend. We still don't know what kind of sword and shield the hero actually had, and what this black storm is supposed to be is just another mystery. Whatever it is, it was blo it blotted out all the skies across Galar. I suppose that tracks with it being called the darkest day, but still. Huh, I suppose the um, hero must have been about the strongest leave then. Looks like you're going to have to ha your hands full. Plenty of research for Sonya. Black storms and swords and shields and all. I believe in Sonya. Thanks. I'll muddle it through somehow. Don't you worry. You two are staying at the hotel tonight, though, aren't you? Shouldn't you check in? Probably so. I want to look, look out for you, too, Sonya. If we hear anything about the hero and whatnot, we'll tell you. Uh, okay, I'm really not a fan of Team Yell's design. They are definitely with... To me, they're definitely the worst team. By far. I really don't like it. We came all the way out this is Big City, so we can properly cheer on to Chip Chat. Team Hell is here to help you all. If you're in for a battle, you want to stop us. I like Team Yell music. I'll let you know what I think when I hear it all. Didn't we tell you, mate? You get all the way and you're in for a battle. Team Yell's about helping. Helping in very, one very special gym trainer with a gym challenge, it is. We want to make sure she gets cheered up and nice and proper. And now you hear help us make some noise. Oh, okay. I'm really not a fan of this in Sword and Shield, by the way. Like, it's supposed... Like, how are the graphics worse than Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee here? I don't understand. Since, like, let's go Pikachu and Eevee, if you were in, like, a hotel, you'd be battling in the hotel. If you were battling in the gym, you'd be battling in a gym. So I don't get why you have these, like, really static, boring backgrounds. I'm not a fan at all. Honestly, they should have pushed Sword and Shield back, like, another few months, or, like, a year, even. I would not have been mad. Just to, like, polish stuff like this up, because I'm not really a fan. We're looking for a fight and I lost. I'm so pathetic. Gotta get the money though. Uh... Oi, give me a break here. Team Yell, get revenge for me, would ya? Of course you got your covered, mate. What could be better than battling in a lovely hotel lobby? What could be better than battling in a hotel lobby? How about battling in a blank static background? That seems a lot better, right? 
Yeah, I don't know. I, I haven't been a fan of Game Freak's games for a while now. Like, this I'm like, is okay so far, but like, the thing is, I'm enjoying doing the Master Mode and stuff, but as a, like, comparing it to the rest of the Pokemon games, it's by far the worst, like, in my opinion. Like, it just, I don't know, it just feels very rushed, I'm not a fan of a lot of the designs. I, I could go on for ages of why I don't like the game. But, like, as a Master Mode and just, like, raid battles and stuff, those are, like, worth it, at least for me. I know, right? That's the thing I don't get. Like, Gen 6, Gen 7, and, like, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee had better backgrounds than this. So I'm just like, why are you lacking in this area now? I must have got a bit carried away in this swanky hotel and all. And I'm just not, I'm not a fan of Team Yell. Oh man, this wanky sophisticated here and he had me off my game. I couldn't keep my old cool. I wasn't expecting the checking in would be such a big fuss, Sam Champ. What's going on? Sneaking in some Pokemon battles without me? Don't you think you're going to get ahead of me that easily? I need some training in, so I'm joining too. Here, I'll even heal up your Pokemon. I'm Hop, one of this year's gym challengers, and the one who's going to be the next champion. Now, let's have a nice 2 on 2. I can already hear my victory coming. The only sound you'll make is a whimper of defeat. Oh, look at Hop there. I was just chilling. Zigzagoon and nick it. So, I'm gonna switch out Baltoy again. Uh, I'm gonna switch out Terrible this time. Bug super effective on Dark, right? So I should be good here. Should be alright. That is some alright damage to be fair. Wait, Snarl attacks both? Really? Okay, I did not know that. Alright, I'm going to bug by Nicket. Don't worry background is only if used for all the various areas that don't really deserve a battle scene, but you battle there like once. I mean, I've seen it in the gyms as well, but it's like coloured differently. It's like the same stock background, but it's just like coloured differently. It doesn't have like a proper background. And I've seen that before as well, and I'm not a fan of that either. Oh no, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee just did it a lot better in my opinion. Like, all the unique areas have unique battle effects. The gym leader battles have good background. Okay, I, have, I haven't seen the leader battles yet. Well, I can't remember the leader battles. But gym trainers, at least, I know, aren't great. Which is, like, a shame, I think. Because, like, the gyms are supposed to be some of, like, the best, like, looking areas, I think. Leader battles are in the stadiums. Okay, that's good, at least. My voice is unsure when I'm sad. I want to yell, but I'm unsure. I came here to see the gym challenge opening ceremony, but this is awful. Guess it was defeat I had coming. I think I'm about to cry. You battle at the top of the Mega Evolution Tower next to we, what I want, so you still get a background. That is very true. Each route has a different background? Really? That's interesting. What are you lot doing here? Marine. I'm not a fan of Mora Pico either. I don't like that Pokemon. <laughs> N nothing. We were just... I know you're terribly curious about the other tra in trainers, but you got to show a bit of restraint. Sorry about them. They're just a bunch of my fans. They're calling themselves Team Yell and following me around cheering for me. I think they've let it get to their heads a bit. Come on, you lot. Back home with you now. They're just so caught up in wanting to support me and all, they tend to get a bit shirty with the other gym challengers. Sorry to cause you any trouble. So, you're a gym challenger too. Team Yell was it. Pretty impressive that you already have a set of fans to call your own. Alright, let's go. Good evening and welcome to uh, Badoo Drop In. You must be one of the Pokemon trainers entering the gym challenge, correct? Yes. Yes, young Miss Salem Chan. I see the league has booked a room for you. 
And if I might thank you for helping us uh, out of a sticky situation with those hooligans earlier. I hope you have a pleasant stay here with us. Sleep well. And then, yo, know, Hop's just practicing throwing balls for whatever reason. Should be throwing punches instead, my guy. Morning! So, this is it. Now my legend really begins. You've said that a lot of times. Watch out, Salem Chan. I'll beat you to Motosoke Stadium. Alright, let's run over there, I guess. Do, 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 do. Where is Motor Stoke Stadium actually? The gym challenger, the opening ceremony is starting soon. Please allow me to escort you to the gym stadium. How handy. <laughs> Alright, follow me to ca and carefully not to lose sight of me. We made it to the stadium entrance. Please hurry to the opening ceremony. Alright, let's go in here. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this music here. Like, I know it's the Pokemon theme, it's just the techno version of it. We must wear that. Ask all gym challengers wear this at official events. The opening ceremony marks the beginning of a gym challenge, so you know what that means. That's right, I'll need to get change as well. Alright, so I'm just gonna go in there. Let's see how I look. Yo, look at me, I look cool. 12, that's me. Wonderful. You look sharp as a pin, and that 12 there, it really is the number for you. Now, we're ready for the, uh, the opening ceremony for this year's gym challenge. Yo, you are 12, I am 12, yes. I just picked it because 12 for December, so 12 for the 12th, and it's my favorite number because of it. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Rose, chairman of the Pokemon League. I know that everyone gathered here and everyone watching at home have all been waiting for this big moment. No, no, it's not 12, 12, 12. <laughs> New. It's my pleasure to announce something that I didn't read. Yes, the gym challenge. Yeah, I'm actually uh, eight years old. Fun fact. Participants must defeat gym le eight gym leaders and earn eight gym badges to prove their skill as trainers. Only the most worthy have the honor of challenging the greatest champion in history. I am smart. Now, I would like to invite the gym challengers to show themselves. That is true. I am not smart. I'm actually only seven years old. But I'm pretty smart for a seven year old. So you don't see the cut- wait, do we see a cutscene of the gym challenges, or is it just the gym leaders? Look at these leaders looking all swaggy and cool. The fighting farmer, he's a grass type expert, expert Milo! Milo, the raging wave, it's the master of water foes, Nessa! You have a burning man of fire, here comes the fire veteran, Kabu! Yo, people like Kabu. The Galar Karate Prodigy, no one's better than fighting types that were than Bea. The master of fantastic theater is the charming fairy type user, Opal. The hard rock crusher, please welcome rock type master, Gordy. And last but not least, the tamer of dragons, it's Raihan, the top gym leader. Fortunately, we're missing one, but... Which one are we missing? These are the gym leaders that were in the Galar region, I'm proud to call our own. Which one are we missing? Piers? Oh yeah, Piers. I forgot about him. And then it's us. Yo, what's up? It's me, because there's no other gym challengers other than me. Look at me with my dorky glasses on there. <laughs> My glasses are not good, I need some more swaggy ones. Standing there on the pitch in the stadium in front of everyone, there's really no words for it, but I can barely contain myself. My heart's racing. You made it a last hop. You see, Salem. 
So, you're the two trainers, our champion endorsed himself. Welcome, it's a delight to meet you. I'm Rose, of course. I don't know why I changed his voice, but now it's this. Oh, and what's this? I see you all both already can possess Dynamax bands. How wonderful. It seems you two have been led here by the guiding light of the wishing stars. By the way, it's with my wonderful company that invented those Dynamax bands, you know. I dare say that this year's gym challenge is looking to be the absolute best. Very good, very good indeed. This means the whole Gala region is in for some excitement. The gym challenge is an excellent opportunity to show off your Dynamax Pokemon. Now, I'm terribly sorry, but it is um, urgent business I must attend to, so I must be on my way. Pardon me. Best of luck to you both. And there he goes. Roll on a new challenge after the star like sounds good, but uh, Airman cer uh, certainly seems to be in high spirits. Now listen closely, you two. You both already just started your paths of trainers. If you want to win, you need to do more than just train your Pokemon. You need to train yourselves, too. Let's do it, Salem Chan. You know the gym challenges are set order that you gotta visit the gyms in, right? First is in turf field, and to get there, we gotta need to head to Route Free. Or Route Free. Because I can't word. Alright, I think I'll do two to three more challenges and then call it a day. <sighs> Alright, we got a Veltal's Curse, which means a Mon randomly dies. Swell. So, I'm gonna do it with my box mons as well. So, it can be literally anything to the boxes. You think it should just be my party? Because I feel like it should be everything. Just the mons you like. I don't know, bro. Wait, what did I, did I put it in here? So Flames like just says just the mons in the party. Tom, what do you think? Do you think just party mons or do you think box as well? Party only, that's how deaths are normally done. I mean, true, but like, if I, di if I used Apple in a raid and it died, it would have died in the box. I wouldn't say it's too easy though, because like think about it this way: if I revive a mon with uh, Xerneas's blessing, it's only done through the box. So I feel like it's fine to do it in the PC as well. I don't know. I mean, I'll put them all. I'll put. I need to type in these ones anyway, so I might as well. Um. So one thing, sure, but if a box one dies, it doesn't affect your team, or you aren't going to use any of them anyway. I mean, to be fair, like, Slowpoke I'd use for counting Pokemon. Vulpix is too safe. I feel like it isn't too, too safe, though. Like, because think about it this way. There's two Mons in the box, and there's six Mons in the in the PC. Chart. Um, Rickety... One, two, three, four, five. Do I hold them? I think I do. You were desperately trying to get rid of Slowpoke, though. But he's good for catching Mons, that's the thing. Like, I don't want to use him in battle. But, like, he's good for catching Mons, because he has Yawn. Uh, alright, I guess we'll kill one from the party. And it's... Doesn't tell me. Why is it blank? Machop. Oh, my chat was cool. Oh, I was like, f I didn't, I, I didn't add um, the party mons, uh, the box mons. By the way, this was just in, strictly within the party. But I think it's fair to do like I can't have another Eveltal's curse until like I get uh, Xerneas's blessing. No, I would have traded him. I think it would have been fair to trade him. Alright, so there's urine in the box. But do you think that's a fair rule? Like, I can only do... V I can only get a mon... Um... What's the word? Like, otherwise, like, I might just keep getting death upon death upon death. Like, I think it's fair to be like, okay, I can get the death rule, but then I can get the revive afterwards, maybe. Or like, I can't get the just straight up death rule until I get the straight up revive rule. If it's only ones in your party, I think it's fair. Okay. Yeah, for, for revives, it'd be just in the dead box. But, um... 
Charge of Salem, China. Our chairman asked me to deliver this gift to you. Oh, well. That's Faz. A gift, such a wonderful thing from the chairman, such a wonderful man. Um, excuse me. The gift is access to flying taxis. They allow you to, in a world, fly. Calling a flying taxi will allow you to travel quickly based on areas you've already visited. It's a random man in a box, yeah, it's just a random man in a box that's dead, that I get to revive. If it's alright with you, I read a segment for the flying ma taxi ma manual, aha. Uh -huh. Press the X button and select the town map option to choose the place you want to go to. Anyway, the next goal should be Turfield, isn't that right, Salem Chan? When traveling to a new place, it's best to get that door on your own two legs, don't you think? That's what- See, that's why you thought you released it, because you said you didn't want it to come back. You were just like, yeah, I'm just releasing it. And I was like, oh, okay, bring back Duracell. I can't anymore. <laughs> it's released. That's why I didn't want to release it. The Flame Zag was like, release it. So I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'm releasing it. <laughs> yeah, look at all of these guys outside. So where do I go now? If you ever phone me, I'm getting you to get another Duracell. This is one I thought you already revised targets. Oh, no, it, uh, they don't, it, it's like a random one. There you are, I've been waiting. Let's have about you and me. Let's get a bit of training. I knew you'd be up for it. We gotta stay keener than anyone else if you want to steal a spotlight from our rivals. Oh, why are we in a field? <laughs> We're in a field now, apparently. These backgrounds don't make sense, bro. So I think. Wait. Keep it up, mate. This is a chance to see if we're up to the gym challenge. So, like, I think because of what I said with, um, this is enough space to find a bridge, I guess. I don't know. I'm just, like, I'm just, uh, like, putting it all on time constraints. That's what I'm basing it on. Because I'm not going to say they're lazy, I'm just going to say shitty time constraints. Boltoy can die now, by the way. Why don't you care about Boltoy? What the fuck? But, um... Oh yeah, Boltoy. Oh, I get what you mean. No, I thought you just like yeah, fuck Boltoy, and I was like, oh yeah, I get what you mean. I honestly forgot about the immortality thing. But um, oh, I was gonna say something. So with the Xerneas's blessing thing, because like when you were saying like, oh yeah, you get it, you can it, you can just let them die as many times as it just does it right. But if I did that, then the same thing would happen for revives. So if I got really lucky and got like six revives, then I'd have like six revived mons on my team. And like, it just would be too easy. But with like, um... Confusion is strong on a rock team, but... Oh, is it? Alright, I'm gonna heal up first. Never mind, I don't have potions. Oh, fuck it. Confusion. It'll kill, I believe. Shit. You lied to me. I think it's more specially bulky or something. Yo, Daylight! What's up, my dude? How you doing? I see you with a wave. How you doing, my dude? Was that by... I felt like that was by... God... What, uh, Guy Rodwell. I felt like I recognised the style. Oh, wait, no, it was... I don't know, maybe it was. Wooloo might have more special defense. That's what I thought. See, you lied to me, Flames. Like, what the fuck, bro? But yeah, I feel like having, like, a limit on the Eveltal's Curse and Xerneas' Blessing uh, challenges is good. Because then, like, if vice versa happen, like, it stops me reviving too much and it stops me from dying too much. So I feel like having it so, like, you have they have to be balanced is good. So, like... Now that I have one death, I have to have, like, one thing before it, that happens. But yeah, I'm doing good, thanks, my dude. Like, uh, I've had my Machop just die, which was not fun. But, you know, other than my Machop dying, I'm doing alright. What have you been up to lately, my dude? Typical. I should have known you mastered type matchups. Alright, let's go. Ember again. Have a chase of our true powder. Our green power just keeps growing on stronger. Bench. Pr That's not type... Okay. You talk about mastering type effectiveness, and then you use something that's not very effective on me. Okay, Chief. Okay, Chief. Come 
Combine him into one challenge. Hmm. Could do. That wouldn't be too bad. I wouldn't mind doing that. I've been playing Showdown, trying to get some ideas to use in Pokemon Sword. Okay, interesting. Sounds good. I haven't been on Showdown in a hot minute, to be honest. Bet into a corner? You're all, you got it all wrong, mate. I'm just getting started. I feel like it's fine to do it as, like, separate ones, though. Um, just because, like, I could get two... I could get a death... A I could get, like, a death, a revive, and then, like, a death, or, and then a revive, and then, like, a death, and a death, sort of thing. I don't know. I might change it to one, though. I'll think about it. I mean, I probably won't have it again today, so it'll be for, like, next time. String shot? No. Oh, not in a row, but I could get like I could get the de uh, F one. Well, I could get a I could get a revive one next, and then get something else, and then get the revive one afterwards. So like, yeah. Our challenge starts right now from here in Modesto. What well, a first gym leader would have to be challenged this white town far off from here. So you better believe I'm gonna keep on winning to my way to that championship match. Hello, Galar, me your next champion from the sleepy town of Postwick. It's me, huh?